beautiful sunrise as usual. You can just see the mist hovering. Right, it's time to go running. A beautiful day today. Just look at this. Absolutely fabulous. <clears throat> so, I'm going to take the opportunity now the sun is out. It's a bit chilly still, but it's okay. The sun is out, so I'm going to put another coat of paint on these doors here. Um, the one at the top there's only had one, one top coat, and same as the end one. And then I've got to start around the corner here, so I'm going to get on with that. But before I do that, do you remember I said I had another wheelbarrow? Uh, well, I fixed the I fixed the inner tube of the other one we we um, put back onto to use and now I'm going to put that tube back into here, get that one recommissioned. Okay, while I'm here, I might as well just fix this old tube. It's got a small puncture there. I've just done a leak test in the sink. So first thing we do is just rough it up very quickly, just rough up the surface. And that gives a good key for the solution to adhere to. And we get out some uh, rubber solution. We pop some rubber solution around the hole there. Just keep that in the center. Fine. Tend not to go too thick. So we'll keep that. We'll get out a patch. Just going to cut one of these. Just cut one the right size. I find it cheapest to buy it on a roll. And just cut the size you need. Put that back in there. And that's got nice and tacky. My hands are simply too big for this. There we go. Paper is off. go what you do if you put that tube straight back into the bike you can uh, almost sand some chalk dust over the top to stop this adhering from the inside of the the tire but I'm just going to leave that in the Sun and then once that's done I should deflate that down pop it back in the in the box and I'll have a spare one then that's great so after it's had its um, first couple of coats I then go back in and fill all the little knot holes and the blemishes. And the only reason I do that is not for aesthetics, it's to try and stop the rainwater penetrating the surface because it'll find its way in. So uh, let me just show you. So you can see here, look, you can see a knot and where that knot is around the edge, you can see where um, water would have got in. So that's the sort of things that I'm, I'm filling. There's another another example just there. So all I need to do now is just take the rough off. It shouldn't take too long and then we'll get some paint on this one. Okay, third coat on this door, looking nice. Uh, now onto that loft door up the top there. Before I start that uh, loft hatch, 
I'll just go and see what Miss Anna's doing and see if I can talk her into having a cup of tea with me. Hi honey, you're making great progress. Back breaking work, yeah? Look at that. It's brilliant, isn't it? It's all ready to plant, yeah? Look at that. Um, not a peony like someone noticed. It's got flowering work, isn't it? What is it? Hello bar. Hello bar. Oh, wow. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. Look at that. Well, that's pretty, honey, isn't it? Yeah. So that's a keeper, yeah? And then how much of this you've got you've nearly done it all is most of this staying just needs turning over uh, this is staying the big one what's that some sort of fern yeah it's like a cordyline a cordyline i'm not cord. sure like a cordyline yeah. family that's going just a little rose okay and um, that's going some of the rose here the rose going yeah, yeah. it's in the way anyway. Yeah, yeah, it? you're right. It's yeah. not very pretty, is it? It's grown wild. Well, it's in the way of your um, pumping station. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So all this is going to be cleared. Can I talk you into having a cup of tea? Um, can I have a double whiskey? Yeah, it can if it'll help. <laughs> <laughs> you're the only one I know who does gardening in an Edwardian, Edwardian blouse collar. That's lovely. Not a full blouse, it's one of those half ones. Oh, it's nice. Can't be doing with all that messing around with a full blouse, tucking it in and everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, you still look smart. <laughs> and then I suppose I should come and put some paint on here, shouldn't I? If we're tidying all this Hang up. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Uh, Hang on. Now then. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I do need to do some work in the pumping station before winter, uh, summer comes. No, we've got a probably a good couple months before. Swimming, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. But don't know if you've forgotten. <laughs> Go on, I've got a job lined up. <laughs> a job. The build the bar. No. Uh, build the patio. No. Um, the veranda. No. Replace the decking on the no, dock. No, started it. Oh. Uh, finished. Yes. Ah. <laughs> uh, we've, we've got to carry on with that. Yes. Before, you know, before spring really sets in. Like yes. You're right, so we've got a, we kind of got up to the wheelbarrow and then we've got that little bit in the middle there and then up to this big oak tree. Um, that actually goes down quite a bit, doesn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, we need to uh, do that. tomorrow, yeah. if the weather's like this. Hopefully I'll be finished, but we need to get that done because in summer it'll be thick lot, again. Yeah, and a lot more painful. Yes, that's true. <laughs> okay, and now I've got the chainsaw sharpener, I can do a lot more work without having to rely on getting new saws, uh, new chains. Hey Tom. You enjoying that Tom? Tom is 17, he's an old boy. Oops, sorry, honey. Come on, Tom, let's go and have a cup of tea. Yeah, very happy with that. So that's its third coat. Now going round to the chicken house. So same thing again, we filled the gaps and the knots. Just need to rub that down and get some paint on.
So very happy with that. And the chickens should be two. <laughs> so that's great. I can really start to imagine it now with all of this um, um, stonework refilled and looking pretty again. And then we've got these round here. It's looking nice. Uh, first couple of coats on this one, so it's going to need a couple more. And then the chicken one we've done. And then this one up here, I'm not sure whether doesn't look too bad from here. I'm not sure whether I should repair that because we're not going to use it to start with. So I'm wondering whether that should be a repair and then um, maybe a replacement later, but let's see. Hi, honey. Are you fancy a cup, another cup of tea? Yeah. I think she's muting the, the music through fear of upsetting YouTube. Wow. Great job, honey. Back breaking stuff, eh? True, true, and more colour in the garden. Oh, what's that? Is that sprouts? <laughs> it looks, I don't know. <laughs> you see that? No. Kind of sprouts. grows up like, there's no sprouts on it now, but it's wild sprouts, well, that is. If it was sprouts, it would look like that very empty because I would have eaten them all. Yes, you love your sprouts, don't you? So I'm going to go make another cup of tea, honey. Do you want tea or coffee? Machine coffee or tea? No, I'm going to Okay, do you want me to bring it out? Um, I'll come up. Okay, see you in a sec. We're trying to film and Anna's not being serious. Of are you? <laughs> you right. right. She cooks here and she really wants to watch cable television. When... No, it's not just that. Well, what is it then, honey? Because <laughs> I spend a lot of time in here yes. tidying up too. T tidying up, yes. Um, I just get fed up with the isolation. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm all the way up the other end. <laughs> I just like a bit of company, something entertain me okay so what do you fancy to entertain you uh i've just got into family ties okay the american <laughs> sitcom you with got pluto you've yes got pluto on well it's built in the tv now what's pluto it's like um like in the free view or um what's the other one? Oh yeah that's right Freesat. The it's, it plays everything you've got movies and old sitcoms so we've got a telly but but family ties is really fun uh, is it good okay well jay fox 
I like Michael J. Fox. When, when he was really young. Oh. Anyway, okay. So uh, that's the telly you'd like to watch it on, which we found in the caravan after looking for it everywhere. Yeah. And you'd like it mounted on that wall behind there. Yeah, so let's out, show out of you. the way there. Out of the way, up on the wall. Yeah. Not that straightforward a job, but let's have a look at it. It is, you are doing it. Well, <laughs> we've got to get power. We've got to get power, a satellite, a satellite uh, cable, and somehow mount. These walls are very pretty, but they're really difficult to mount anything on because nothing's straight. So let's have a look, see how we can do this. So I think what we're going to have to do is bring power in from just underneath that water supply there that doesn't look a substantial um oh, i've had a tap actually look i'll show you it's not uh don't know if you can don't know if you can hear that but it's not uh it's not very significant and we've already had to if you remember we've already had to mess about with this part of the um lowered ceiling because we had a leak when we first arrived in the cottage that we had to do a temporary repair on so this all needs replacing anyway so don't mind messing that and then we go through here this room is going to be our utility room which is going to be a project in its own right a quite an exciting one actually i don't want to say too much at the moment but this room's all going to be reconfigured and turned into living space so new floor and ceilings and insulation and windows and doors but we've got a consumer unit here let's turn the light on so we've got a, a, a consumer unit there, so I can take power from that um, and a breaker, and I can take it up this wall and hopefully um, through there and then drop it down ready for the television. So step by step, first step is going to be get the bracket on the wall. And look at this, you see, she's so sweet. Everywhere I work, she just comes behind. <laughs> <laughs> she's like constantly there, it comes behind and sweeps up. No. Yes. Yeah. Yep. He's talking to himself. This is a, a problemo. Because, let me show you. This is the back plate. It's not very heavy, Telly, so it doesn't need much. It only needs a small plate. And we're not going for anything with a swivel, it's going to be fixed to the wall. But of course there's nothing square, that's the best I can find in terms of maybe... You can't really see on here how uneven it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful maybe if I can get an anchor in it either end. And that, that will do it. But that's the first thing. So we're going to make a holes in walls and... Uh, Run the risk. But first of all, somebody wants to come in. Somebody is at the door. Charlie! 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 Come on. Come on. Hello, Charlie boy. Is it bad? It's just really soft and uh, I've gone undersized on the drill. That might be all right. We don't go clean. So we now need to hide all the cables away and get them all, get them all hidden. That's the next challenge. Pete has done the telly. And I've got family ties on. Are you happy, Emily? I am, thank you. And Oh, now we've got the ninja going, got some jacket potatoes in there. First time doing jacket potatoes in the ninja. And quick look. Dinner time. 
I've got the leftover gravy from yesterday, Sunday. It's too good to waste. And Peter has got cheese and onion for his jacket, cheese and onion. jacket potatoes. I'm going to get some black pepper. Some ground black pepper. Okay. 